8.30 in the morning right now and I'm so surprised that I'm up, you guys. I didn't go to bed till like 3 or 3.30 last night, which is really late for me. I try to get to bed by 11, 12 at the latest and I thought I was going to sleep in today, but I changed my alarm. Um, so before I had a really loud, obnoxious alarm that would like jump scare me awake and I find that if I'm like startled awake, I'm more tired. So I changed my alarm and today was my first day using it and it was kind of like a soft song playing in the background while I, while I slept and then eventually I woke up and was like, oh, that's my alarm. Literally was not tired at all. It was such like a graceful rising a graceful opening to my day so um if you guys have that issue of being like jump scared awake and making you feel more tired I highly suggest changing your alarm so what i did was i turned the volume down so that it's not blasting in my ear when it goes off and i changed the actual sound so iPhone has a whole bunch of like health apps and things I guess for you to live a healthier life and one of those things is having a sleep schedule so I created a sleep schedule last night where I go to bed by 12 which means my phone and all the apps and notifications and stuff start dying down at around 11:30. I think they turn my phone off and you can easily like swipe up and dismiss the do not disturb notification but it automatically puts your phone on do not disturb um, like 30 minutes to an hour before your set sleep time and then I put my wake up time at um, 8 a.m. so I'm, I think they started my alarm before 8 a.m. just to give me some time to wake up so maybe they started it at like 7.58, 7.59 because I heard the song playing for a while but I was asleep so I wasn't sure what it was and then eventually I woke up like right at 8 a.m. which I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to show you guys what sound I picked. So if you guys could hear that, it was like a gradual crescendo getting louder and louder, but it starts off really soft and the melody in itself is just very like gentle. So it's a nice and gentle way to wake up and start your day. You wake up, well, at least I woke up today feeling much better, much more rested than I thought. I literally only got five hours of sleep and my, um, sleep schedule that I set on my phone yesterday I'm supposed to get eight full hours of sleep but I like I said I stayed up late last night but I feel good and uh, I just wanted to share that little tip with you guys because I've been living most of my life being startled awake and I just don't think that's a healthy way to wake up but anyways I'm about to go get a quick workout and I've been super consistent and working out um, five times a week since getting back to New York and I'm trying to stick with it, so I'm about to go to the gym, and then I'm going to get my day started. I'm about to jump into castings. I have two castings I need to get done today, but thankfully they're just taking some quick snapshots for the casting directors and sending them off. I don't have to do any video or audio or anything like that. Those are my favorite. Well, actually, in-person castings are my favorite just because they're quick. You get to show your personality, you get to talk to people, and they put a face to the name and a voice to the name and the face. Um, so yeah, I definitely prefer um, in-person castings, but since COVID, we've been doing most things virtually, which is kind of annoying, but it comes with the job. So I'm about to get these photos taken, send them out, um, and then get on with the rest of my day.
I finished up all my castings and now filming outside is so hard. Anyways, I'm on the way to Staples to print out some comp cards. I made new comp cards last night um, for an in-person casting that I have tomorrow. You guys, I haven't been to an in-person casting in like months. I, don't, I actually don't think I've been to one yet this year. Everything has been virtual, but they requested me to come in tomorrow, so I want to make sure I have hard copy comp cards to give to them once I get there, so I'm going to print those out right now. And then I have to return some things from Zara and pick up a couple more outfits. I have a photo shoot on Saturday. Yeah, I have a photo shoot on Saturday that I need to get new wardrobe for, so I'm going to return this pick up some new stuff, and then head back to Brooklyn. So I'm back, and I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys what my comp cards came out looking like. Sometimes staples is a hit or miss, you guys. Like, let me show you. This comp card I did a few months ago. You guys can't even really tell the quality of it, but you can see my face, right? The complexion is a little off because the color of the printer was just a little off, but it gets the job done. If I gave it to a casting director, they would be able to know, like, this is me, this is has my information on it, like, that is what the purpose of a comp card is. But with staples, sometimes the quality of the images does not, it doesn't look the same as it does on the computer compared to when they print it out, if that makes sense. That sentence was like all jacked up. But sometimes when you blow it up and put it on card, white card stock it becomes pixelated and then the color scheme kind of gets thrown off and it just looks like not as great as on the computer so when you do go print your photos at staples please don't go in expecting like high quality high res photos these things are like a dollar and some change two dollars and some change so it's not going to be the best quality but you want to get as close as possible so usually when i go to staples they show me the first set that they've printed out. It's usually not good, so I make them print it again. And I make them print it again and again and again until I'm finally satisfied with the quality. Or they're like, it, there's not going to be any difference. It's just going to be the same resolution. You can either take these or leave them. So let's look at the ones that I did today. This is one of the ones that I got printed today. This is the back. Now, the back, the resolution is trash. Like, the for some reason, these photos just did not come out right. So those are not as good, but this front photo is like passable. It's fine. You can see my complexion. You see that my hair is short, like it gets the job done. So when you order it, it's going to come on like an eight and a half by 11 cardstock sheet of paper. And then you just cut it to the smaller, like five and a half by eight and a half image. I think those are like rough guesstimates, but it's a smaller image. You're not going to... You're not gonna hand over this whole cardstock paper. This is the other one that I did. I did a black and white option. Oh, yeah, get into it, get into it. So again, not the best quality. Like if we, we did try to print one on glossy paper, like laminated paper, and it, it didn't look any better. Once you blow the image up, this big it just becomes pixelated and it's not going to be as sharp so that's why the photos look the way they do this is the photo that i chose to put on the back of it i'll insert a picture of what this photo actually looks like in color it looks a little different on the sheet and in this camera and yeah that was it so i got this one this one and I got this one, but this one, this one is probably the worst one just because these images just did not do well being printed out. Like <laughs> they're so blurry. I probably won't even use this card, but I think these two are good enough to like give to a casting director. We're going to see what they think when I go to my casting tomorrow. Of course, I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm hoping it's a quick casting because then I have an event to go to after. I did go to Zara. I picked up two outfits for my photo shoot 
on Saturday and I also ordered a Skims um, underwear set because I'm also going to be shooting like an underwear look at the photo shoot. Um, my Skims package has not arrived yet. I'm praying that it gets here by Saturday. I'm going to be very annoyed if it doesn't because I've been trying to shoot this look for the longest time. I was originally going to do a Calvin Klein set, but I just decided like a nude look, like neutral tones, warm brown cocoa type of vibe would, would be better. And I can use it as leverage to post pictures and skims and hopefully get like a brand deal or something if they see my photos on Instagram. So, you know, the model business mindset, always trying to figure out how you can get the next deal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Zara. I got this blazer. It's oversized. And I got the matching pants to go with it. You guys, this is an extra small and it still just looks extremely big. But I think that's just how it's supposed to fit. But this is look number one. And then I got like this satin, just satin slip dress. I don't even know if this would be considered a slip dress. What is this? I don't know. But yeah, just this cute little dainty number. Real smitsy like. And then, like I said before, the third look is going to be a skims bra and underwear set nude. So it's going to be matching my skin tone, not the light nude, but like the actual like cocoa brown nude. I'm really excited about that look because, like I said, I've been trying to shoot that look for a while, but it was so, before, it was so hard to find undergarments and like my complexion of nude, but now that brands have become more inclusive and they want to cater to their shoppers, it's easier to find um, things in my color nude, if that makes sense. But I think I'm done being in front of the camera today. So I'm going to check in with you guys tomorrow, probably when I go to my casting. I am so shiny. It looks like I just lathered Vaseline on my face. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to put some powder on this and then I'll, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back and blotted. I don't even know if you can tell a difference. Can you tell a difference? Am I still like super shiny? Anyways, happy Thursday. I am actually heading into Manhattan right now. I have my casting at 1.30. Super excited because like I said yesterday, this is my first in-person casting, you guys. I don't think I've been to an in-person casting. Hmm. I think I've had one other in-person casting this year so far and it's freaking June. Crazy. Everything has been pushed virtually since COVID. I personally prefer casting in person just because I get to show a little bit more of my personality and meet people and like, I don't know, I feel like I just perform better in person. So yeah, I'm about to head into the city and hopefully it goes well. I think the casting went well. Fingers crossed that I get uh, booked for it. For the casting, I really didn't have to do much. I just, the casting was for a nail brand. So they tried a couple of the press on nails on me, um, took a couple of photos, did like a little personality video, and that was it. It literally lasted maybe like 10 minutes. I was in and out. Now I am in the Lower East Side about to go to, oh my gosh. It is so loud. I feel like you guys can't hear me. But anyways, I'm in the Lower East Side. They're hosting an event, kind of like a pampering event. You're going to have the chance to get your nails done, mix and mingle with other models and uh, industry professionals. Uh, there are going to be a couple of beauty brands there, and I think we're going to get a goodie bag, so that's exciting. But I'm just passing through really quickly because I actually have to get back to Brooklyn for my doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm going to go get my goodie bag, of course. Mix and mingle a little bit and then head back to Brooklyn.
do <laughs> with my room. Anyways, you guys. I just woke up. I got back to my apartment around 4.30ish and went straight to sleep. I've been running all day and I'm so tired. I think that like, if you have to take the train more than twice in a day in New York City, like you just get tired. Like commuting in itself is a job. Yeah, after my casting, I went to the models event. So fun. Um, met some new faces and connected on Instagram. So hopefully we'll get a chance to hang out um, outside of those kinds of events. And um, got to catch up with a few other models that I hadn't seen in a while, which was nice. It's always nice to catch up. Um, I tell you guys all the time, but I don't, I don't have a lot of like good friends in the modeling industry it's mostly just people that I see in passing or like people that I've connected with on Instagram um, and so I am going to more modeling and industry events so that I can kind of build my tribe of other models just because it's nice to have genuine friendships in that realm because they know they have a better understanding of what I'm going through career wise if that makes sense like my other friends outside of the industry are very supportive they listen to me if I have to then and things like that but in the end they don't have as much of an understanding as a model would of course so I'm trying to make more connections um, and they're actually like despite uh, common belief like they're actually pretty cool they are um, unique, kind, genuine people all the time. It's just putting forth the effort to actually maintain those uh, those relationships. And a lot of us are like stressed or just working too often or like dealing with our own mental health and our own uh, personal things that we sometimes don't make the effort to maintain those relationships. And sometimes other people just don't care. But I am now at the point in my life where I want to take it seriously and actually um, be intentional about the connections that I'm making in the industry. So I'm excited about that. And of course, got my handy dandy goodie bag. I won't go through everything that I got because you guys probably don't care, but I was especially impressed by this, you guys. Um, it's the brand Bars Over Bottles, which I've never heard of, but you guys, they have like bar shampoo like look how cute this packaging is and these bars these bars will probably last you a long time all recyclable no plastic and the bars look like this so it's shampoo shampoo and conditioner and these little bars and they smell so good. Like, I know I'm bald headed, but you guys, I'm so excited to use these. Like, I love a good lather on my scalp. Like, definitely gonna use this. It's shampoo and conditioner. Um, so yeah, I was really excited when I saw this in the back because I've never seen bar shampoo and conditioner. Like, that's so creative. And apparently good for the environment. And I got some other goodies in there, which is pretty cool. I love free stuff. And now, I'm about to head back into Manhattan for dinner tonight. I'm catching up with a friend. I literally have not seen this man in months. We used to hang out all the time. We used to go out every single weekend because we were doing our little Tres Leches tour where we would go try different Tres Leches at different shops around the city and like rate them on Instagram. Um, but then life just got busy. Life just got chaotic. And I know that, that that's an excuse, but like we haven't seen each other in like five or six months, which is insane. But we're finally getting together tonight. Um, and even though I'm exhausted and I really just want to go back to sleep, um, I'm excited to see him because like I said, it's been a while. And we're going to Little Italy. We're going to um, a place that I love. I've been a couple of times. It's called Grata Azura. Yeah, I'm excited. I love to eat, so you can invite me anywhere that has food involved, and best believe I'll be there. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, so. The day is already starting off pretty chaotic. Scheduled for a photo shoot at 10 a.m. today. It's now 10.20. I left early and everything because you always have to 
calculate extra time when traveling um, by the subway because you never know what can happen. Today, someone ended up getting hit by the F trains. The F trains are super delayed. So the photographer is calling me a lift. I'm waiting for her to send a lift right now just because it would be quicker for me to drive there than to wait for the trains to um, get back on a regular schedule. It's already 10.20 and I'm 20 minutes away from the studio because the studio is in Queens and I'm in Manhattan. So I came from Brooklyn to Manhattan and then I was gonna go back to Queens because that's just how the trains run. Just too much going on. And the studio is like 20 minutes away so I'm probably not gonna get there until like 10.40, closer to 11. Thankfully I shoot pretty fast so I don't think that that would put us over time but it's still kind of frustrating. Just to have somebody waiting on you, you know, it's kind of annoying and like, unprofessional and I hate seeming unprofessional but thankfully I've worked with this photographer before and she knows that I'm usually never late so not too bad so yeah I'm just gonna wait for my car and then head to the studio.